welcome to the uh, first official uh, Nick Ramsey Sales podcast. Uh, last week's was kind of like a trial run. We were um, testing the water, seeing uh, if we could do some sort of uh, podcast live stream combo. The live stream's going on to the YouTube page. Uh, if someone uh, wanted to look at that, and then the podcast is going on to you know all the all the different podcast markets. So um, I'm Nick Ramsey. I sell and. Uh, Take care of clients, real estate wise in the state of Kentucky. Uh, had multi million dollar producer, very, uh, very busy in the area. And, um, you know, I, I find that, you know, I'm always looking for different ways to reach out to clients, different ways to reach out to um, other other realtors, other real estate agents and brokers and, and, and build relationships. So this is just one, one more avenue to do that. So last week, of course, uh, <laughs> kind of a trial run with that. I had my daughter in here, uh, with me in my office and, uh, she was very, very, she's six. She was off school that day for the holiday and she was very entertained by the fact that I had the camera set up and the lights and uh, was trying to do something. So usually anytime the camera's on, she wants to be a part of that. So um, she, in this instance, she definitely wanted to take part in that. So it was, it was very distracting for me trying to have the camera going and the microphone set up and the lights on and, and her around. So, so I'm sure it, um, it, it turned out as well as can be expected. So this time I'll try to be a little more on topic and, and you know, with anything, the more you do it, the better you get with it. So I hope that this is, is just the same effect. So, um, today I kind of want to talk about, uh, just, just a couple of topics. Uh, one is that I want you to know that not only am I talking to, you know, people I believe would be my customers, you know, buyers and sellers in real estate and in Kentucky or referral leads, anything like that. When I'm, when I'm doing things like this, whether it's a podcast or a live stream or, or a video or any type of marketing, but I also feel like that I am, um, talking to uh, my peers, you know, other, other realtors who might be interested in, you know, maybe some little nugget of information I have, or just maybe they're interested in what is, what can I do? What is something that's kind of out of my box, something that's kind of out of my comfort zone? What can I do that's different? Right. And so this, this is something that you can just start doing on your own, start doing something and maybe someone will start listening to it and you know that's kind of the hope that you know catch somebody's attention and and they'll want to you know they might be drawn into what i'm saying or something that is some idea that i have and i always feel like i'm a natural fixer or a natural helper and i feel like that's why this career is really good for me because i naturally want to help people find a home or i naturally want to help people sell their home or help them get from point a to b you know in some in some way so i feel like this 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 works for me and not only that you know to be able to set my own schedule is is really perfect so i feel like this is this has just been a godsend for me so uh with that in mind and me kind of laying out that um another thing um that I really want to hit on today and and probably this will be the bulk of this episode is, and it's really been on my mind as, as we've gotten into the new year, 2020 and, you know, thinking about resolutions and things like that. How can we, as, as people who have our own business, you know, in, in real estate, how, how can we not only do a better job for, our clients, but also create balance in our own lives. And I think about this quite often because you are constantly trying, you know, you as a real estate professional or, or, you know, whether you own your own business in anything, whatever it is, you're constantly trying to find a new way to provide excellence for 
your clients, but you are also trying to keep things going uh, in other avenues um, of your personal life or other things that you might have going on. And how do you keep it going without, you know, letting something else, you know, kind of fall by the wayside or, or, you know, how do you, how do you kind of keep everything lined up? How do you keep everything equal? How do you provide the right amount of attention to everything? You know, it's very, it's very difficult, especially when you're starting out in this business because you were trying to give everything 100% and it's never possible. It is not possible to give everything 100%. You can't give your your work 100% and your family 100% and, um, you know, your, your extracurricular activities 100%. Uh, you can't be um, involved in your child's uh, school uh, 100%. You just, you can't do it. Uh, you can say you're doing it, but you can't. Your mind is always on something else. And I mean, if you're anything like me, you you have to follow it through. Whatever you're thinking about, you have to follow it through until you've reached the conclusion of whatever or the solution to whatever it is you're, you're been, you've been thinking about. So, for example, with me, you know, I might be... Um, okay, well, this client has an issue. Uh, we've got to resolve this or we're not going to, um, we may not be closing on this property or we may not be able to get these two together on price or uh, there's some sort of problem with, um, you know, rights to such and such land and we have to get there before we can even get a deal together you know there's lots of things that you might be thinking about and maybe those thoughts don't just happen during office hours maybe those problems don't get resolved from nine to five or six to three or whatever it is you know you know you have to keep thinking about those things and then something else comes up it's time to pick you know your kid up from school or take them to soccer practice and and you're you've still got to think about that the phone's still ringing there's texts coming in emails still happening you still got to be dealing with that and something else you know scene b is happening now in your life but you're still dealing with scene a how do you give everything the proper amount of attention how do you create balance um and You know, it all comes back to, you know, a simple thing, time blocking. Is it the end all be all? No, it's not. It's not. It it won't be. But it is helpful. It's helpful to keep everything together, to keep everything balanced as much as possible to say, okay, from X to X today, I'm going to do this. And especially when you are your own business owner, you are in charge of your own schedule. If you can start time blocking ASAP, you will at least be able to deal with some of these things and keep things in balance and in check as much as possible. And whether you are using, you know, uh, a Google calendar or, or um, a hard calendar or whatever it is, you will be able to do much better at these type of things. So, for example, um, from 10 to 12 on Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm going to deal with paperwork from 1 to 3. I'm going, that's when I'm going to do my showings and also from you know five to seven you know if 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 you time block and you stick to schedules i mean you know there there will be exceptions but if you time block and you you stick to those type of schedules you can have some relief in your life you can breathe you can have room for your family Uh, you can keep your family from being very very aggravated with you you can have time for yourself hopefully and really you're going to find that it may not take as much time to do tasks as you once thought because you're making a little bit of time each day 
for everything instead of maybe letting things build up on you, which, which you can easily do. Um, say you're working, you know, eight to 10 transactions or, you know, I'm just throwing out a number, but eight to 10 transactions and you are letting, you know, all the paperwork details build up. But if you set aside two hours a day to work paperwork, it may not be that big of an issue. You know, Uh, a lot of people start thinking they need assistance when they get to certain levels um, and they start paying out for assistance. And I'm not saying people don't need assistance and I'm not saying it's not a great thing. But the thing is, a lot of people pay out for assistance when really they're just very bad at managing their time. You know, when they could be referring some something out and still be making something on a transaction. Um, And I'm not saying I have all the answers. I definitely don't. I'm definitely not in this long enough to have all the answers. But I, I do know that people tend to spend money very early on um, when they don't need to and I I've seen that situation several times and I've been in that situation several times and this is a business that will take it is just waiting it's you know it's it, the minute you get your license it is sending you emails and people are calling you just waiting for your uh, waiting for you to get paid so it can get every dollar you've got so you have to uh, be very vigilant and be ready to say no no I don't want that uh, no I don't want that magazine cover or that website or you know I don't need to be on the front of the cereal box or whatever it is so you have to be very very careful because Uh, especially if you want to be able to pay your dues. So think about that. Think about the time blocking. Think about creating balance and see where you are. You know, really put those, put those things into effect. So I think that's all for this time. Uh, Be sure to remember to visit nickramseysales.com, facebook.com slash Estate. And, um, you know, I'm always ready for uh, your questions or if you just want to say hey and uh, thanks so much. Let's get started.